Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this session of Scoop School. Nice to have you here. Uh, today we're talking about refractometers. Uh, what did you say? Refractometers. You're not going to have to need one. You may want one. Uh, we're going to talk about that after we thank our episode sponsor, which is Turnkey Parlor. You would say Turnkey Parlor. Look, you can go to freezerplanet.com. You can go to turnkeyparlor.com. Down below, they have a link that you should click on and have a look at all of the stuff. They've got new equipment, used equipment, whole equipment packages. When some equipment is pretty hard to find right now, Turnkey Parlor has a lot of it ready to roll. So click on the link and if you're chit-chatting to Neil or any of the crew there, you tell them that we said hello. Okay, so you may not need a refractometer. What is a refractometer? It does come in this handy dandy little portable case portable refractometer and it basically is an instrument to allow you to measure or detect the amount of sugar that you have in a particular liquid. A lot of beer makers, wine makers use this and if you're making a lot of fruit sorbets or Italian ices or non-dairy frozen desserts that are basically an emulsion of sugar and water, you probably should have one of these refractometers. Now what you do is you uh, take a little bit of the solution so if you wanted to create a simple syrup, a little bit of stabilizer in there to make a sorbet or a water ice base, you would mix it up and you would want to make sure that you have it mixed up enough so you can put a nice film of it here. This goes down. You can get a version that goes <laughs> no, you can't. And you'll find that this uh, flap here will press that sugar emulsion syrup over your viewing plate. And then, shing! It's a matter of basically looking through the sight glass. You will need some uh, downward light up here. And you'll see a range. This one goes from zero to 32. And you'll see basically a blue uh, and white uh, melding of colors here. And where that color changes is where the percentage is. So if you're looking here and that blue turns into white around about the 20 mark, then that's a 20% bricks uh, mixture. Now, if you're using this uh, sugar water emulsion uh, mixture in your sorbet or water ice, it generally needs to be somewhere between 25 to let's say 30, around about that 28 bricks level. If you have too much sugar in the mix, too high bricks level, sugar is an antifreeze, your machine's gonna have a really hard time freezing that down. If you have too little sugar in there, or the bricks level is way down, then it's gonna freeze very, very hard, almost like a rock. So that's why this balance of sugar inside your mixture is very, very important so far as flavor, so far as, far as mouthfeel is concerned. So if you don't do a lot of water ices, sorbets, uh, and it's kind of just part of your process, then you don't necessarily need one of these, but they are very handy to have if you're formulating those non-dairy bases. Uh, and you can also go, ahoy there matey. Bit of a Jack Sparrow joke. Team Depp, Team Herd, you decide. Uh, anyway, that's a refractometer. Uh, again, you, won't, you, you may not need one, but they're handy to have if you do a lot of water-based products. Thank you for joining us on this session. Again, thank you very much to Turnkey Parlor for their episode sponsorship. And if if you have a question about the ice cream business, we would like to answer it for you. Leave a comment down below, keep on scooping, and we'll see you in the next video.